temperatures around 24 or 25 degrees in the teens across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That's all your latest weather. Carrie Gracie will have the national and international news headlines next. Then at 10, it's breaking news, original stories and current affairs with Victoria Derbyshire. You're watching BBC News at nine with me, Carrie Gracie, the headlines. He's got it! England have won the World Cup! English cricket celebrates an astonishing victory in the World Cup final at Lords. They lifted the trophy after beating New Zealand with the final ball of the tournament. We did it! We oh, did Joffre it! Delivered. And we were brilliant! Joffre delivered! Joffre delivered! He's a England, boy. world He's champion! A boy. Other news, the Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt will launch a fresh bid to stop the Iran nuclear deal unravelling at an EU meeting this morning. A sharp rebuke for President Trump, he's accused of racism after tweeting that four congresswomen should go back to where they came from. New figures from the Mayor of London show what he says is a clear link between poverty in the capital and rising youth crime. It wasn't all the cricket, it went down to the wire at Wimbledon. Novak Djokovic makes history after beating Roger Federer in a final set tie-break. Good morning, welcome to BBC News at nine. England's men's cricket team will this morning celebrate winning the Men's Cricket World Cup for the first time after an extraordinary finish to a tense final at Lords. The main match ended in a tie, which meant the game went to a super over to decide the winner. And that went down to the very last ball, a run out, another tie, and England winning on the number of boundaries they'd scored. Here's our sports correspondent, John Watson. Well, you won't be surprised. There's been a lot of reaction on Twitter to all of this. The Queen sent her warmest congratulations to the team after that thrilling victory. She also sent commiserations to the runners-up New Zealand. She said they'd competed so admirably throughout the tournament. Leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, congratulated every member of the England team. He said the game shows what you can achieve with a slice of luck and when you never give up. Mr Corbyn also commented on why it should be free to watch on TV. And the Prime Minister, Theresa May, who was at Lords, posted well done at England cricket. She even included a gif of her and her husband, Philip, doing that celebratory dance that we're all familiar with to mark a special occasion. Well, on the other side of the world in New Zealand, less dancing. The newspapers were being printed just as the match was starting. So the job of covering the drama fell to websites, TV and radio and social media. The front page of New Zealand Herald's website hailed the nation as the world's best losers. But their sports pages told a different story of heartbreak at such a close outcome. 
Meanwhile, the New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern posted on Instagram to congratulate England, joking about how, as a nation, we all aged a year in that super over. Well, our sports correspondent John Watson at Lords this morning. John, did you age a year? I think so. I think my heart rate has only just come down now, Kerry. Yes, I don't think anyone in a million years would have envisaged what we witnessed here yesterday. Quite dramatic scenes to think that this match was tied not once,